this is Eve. Hope you're doing really well. So today we're going to do this small uh, reversible handbag. This folded paper, on this folded paper I'm going to be drawing the pattern of the bag. This is going to be the back, so I'm going to be drawing the back of the bag first. I'm just going to be cutting, cut out along the lines. And this, you just open it, and this is going to be the back. Now we're going to proceed because we're going to draw the front of the bag. So you can take the back pattern, fold it in half again, put the folded edge to the folded edge of the paper that was folded, and you trace along the edges. So the front pattern now, it's going to be slightly different because I'd like to draw a line, a diagonal line from the top right towards the folded edge of the page. So I want this uh, top part to be shorter because I like um, the lining I'm going to be using. It's going to be printed pattern and I really would like some of it to be shown through. So there you see, there's a sort of a V-shape, and we label it front. And this one labeled back. So you don't get confused when you do your patterns. It's always really good to label things. So just, you know, preview, putting it like uh, the front against the back. Here is the, you can understand, you know, how it's going to be. So I'm going to cut now the front pattern in half. because I'm going to be using black and white leather. For the back pattern, I use only black soft leather. So that was cut out. Instead, for the front pattern, I'm going to be using some black, white, and black leather. This is the white pattern here. The, okay, and this is the black piece from the, the other half of the pattern. Okay, that was cut out. It's 
it's very important to leave some seam allowances like about five millimeters on each side because if you don't and you would go just cut them out and sew them up without leaving a seam allowance then it's gonna be shorter it's smaller the pattern becomes smaller and therefore it's, it's not gonna be correct now this is uh, for the lining this is a printed material for the lining here you see the back and the front so we're gonna go put um, there the right side to the right side And putting right side to the right side, and more or less, you see then at the top um, where the printed part is, that's the part's going to be shown when it's all done. So I went and I sewed all the way around. And a, when you have like a round, you need to clip the edges because you. If you don't, then when you turn it to the right side, it's gonna make, it's gonna be all wavy and it's not gonna lay right. So you clip without clipping through the stitches. Try not to go through the stitches. You have to be very careful. So you clip all the way around. And you can even, you know, you clip all the way around, you can turn it around and you can also iron it. You can press it. So this, these are the two halves now. And what we're going to do, because it's a soft leather, you have to be very careful because one can slide upon the other. So another thing too, it's usually you don't use pins because then you see the they leave holes in the leather. So what you can use, you can use regular clips for that they use for the material. You can buy them or you can use paper clips. So you can anchor these properly with some paper clips and um, it'll be okay. When you place it under the sewing machine, you backstitch. And uh, you go very slowly. This is five millimeters. When you get to the end, you want to back stitch. I am not going to do any top stitching on either side. You can because, for example, on the black part, you can do some top stitching there. On the white part, some top stitching to keep it flat. But I prefer to leave it uh, this way. I think it looks uh, good like this. So there we're going to 
stitch the shell of the bag together. You anchor all around. You take it to the machine, stitch, turn inside out. Here again, you can also clip the edges so that when you turn it inside out, it looks uh, smoother, looks much better. So there is the lining already done. And um, with this lining here, um, you want to leave a little opening because you're gonna eventually turn it inside out. So you're gonna put the shell, insert the shell into the lining. Uh, you properly line everything up at the seams, those two side seams, seam to seam, okay? The middle to the uh, center to the center and make sure everything is lined up. So there I'm going to do some like leather loops that I'm going to insert. Okay, so it's inserted in that position. Right like, like that, upside down, okay. Insert it to the side of the seam. And you can even baste it to make sure that it's really anchored down because you don't want it slipping while you're sewing all the way around. Just now it's a little loop cord, a thin cord, because I'm going to use this for a, as a, for a button closure. I'm going to add a button and I'm going to just loop that around to close the bag. Here again, be careful the way it's inserted, okay? You insert it, I'm gonna insert it in the, right in the middle, but at the back section, okay? And there again, you can baste it in order to keep it in place. It's uh, much better because at least you're gonna be sure um, it's really anchored while you're sewing it. And you take this to your sewing machine and you sew all the way around. So the opening that was left in the lining, you're going to use that now to turn, to pull, get the shell from there. So you carefully, you pull this out. And because this is gonna be a reversible bag, you wanna hand stitch the opening that was left in the lining so that it becomes really neat. It remains neat. So I'm going to be pushing it in just for you to see how it stays there. This is the black and white shell. Here it is, 
all the loops are in place. The only thing left to be done is to sew on the button and attach the straps. Here, here, there is a strap that I'm recycling from an old bag. So that's all you do. You attach it in this way, you hook it there, and you hook it onto the other one, and it's ready. Here I would just attach the button and I like the look of the lining that's peeking out a bit. Remember to go and uh, hand stitch that uh, part of the lining because uh, this bag is a reversible bag. So this is Eve signing off now. Till the next video, have a great day.